Hello, my name is Matt LaCroix, Marketing Manager for Massey Ferguson and Heston by Massey Ferguson Head Equipment. Today I want to talk to you about the difference between a rotary rake and a wheel rake. So in the main part of the field we had really thick hay, not a huge deal, but when you come down here on the light end of the field, you can see here with the V rake, what happens. So you start ending up with two different windrows unless you adjust your V rake. Now nobody wants to get out and have to do that all the time. And when you have this uneven windrow, almost two different windrows, what ends up happening is you're feeding your baler unevenly, whether it be a round baler or a small square like we're using out here today. Now on your rotary rake over here, you can see that when you get down to the smaller, lighter crop part of the field, you're gonna have one solid windrow. And you can see the difference. Now the good thing about a rotary rake is the crop continues to dry out while it's in the windrow. With a wheel rake, it makes a roping action tying all the crop together. It doesn't allow it to dry out. With a rotary rake, you can also bail a little bit faster. With a small square like we're using here today, with a rotary rake, you can bail about a mile an hour faster. Now yes, rotary rakes do have a little bit extra cost up front, but you'll make it back in quality of hay, amount of drying time in the windrow, and also in fuel savings because you can get through the field faster when you're bailing. So this is the Massey Ferguson rotary rake, and you can see how nice it picks up the crop and it leaves a nice fluffy windrow. This one's 12 feet, so you can make one pass down, one pass back. A total raking width of 24 feet. And now you see our V-rake running here. This is a 10 wheel, and you can see the way it grabs the crop and brings it around in the almost rope-like action. This windrow was made by our rotary rake, our RK series. This happened to be made by a 12 foot version. One thing I did talk about earlier was how fluffy the windrow is and it continues the drying process. You can see inside this windrow, the crop is still able to get some airflow through there and dry down. So this was made with our 10 wheel V rake. Now inside this windrow, you'll see more of the crop is trying to come up when I'm picking up. The other one just picked up real fluffy, but this one's wanting to pick up more down through the crop. So one thing that'll happen when you get into longer crops, say really heavy rye or Bermuda, it'll start trying to grab the windrow into your pickup and pull it because it's in a rope fashion down through here. Now there is very little drying process happening at the bottom of this windrow because it's all wound together. I hope this demonstrates the value of a rotary rake versus a V rake and what it can do on your operation. For more information, please see your local Massey Ferguson and Heston by Massey Ferguson dealer or visit MasseyFerguson.us.